What's up guys? I just wanted to take a second to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and um, let you know that I do plan on getting on and sharing a little bit of my testimony in the near future, but I just, the past two weeks have been kind of hectic. Like my boys were sick and then I got sick. I'm still a little sick and then Thanksgiving was coming and it's just been a very busy time for me. But um, I did want to share with you one of the reasons that I am always so grateful this time of year. And that is on November 22nd it was 12 years for me that I have been clean from opiates and all other hard drugs and um, I truly believe that my life is a miracle in the making and I am so grateful for life every time Thanksgiving comes around it's like the first thing on my list is just life in general because so many of my friends like dozens didn't make it. Some of them died in their 20s. Some, I still get news these days of people that are passed away from addiction. And it's heartbreaking. And I don't know why the Lord chose me. I don't know I used why. to deal with a lot of survivor's guilt. And I used to beat myself up with that question a lot. And I just don't really ask it anymore. I just, I'd rather just thank him for whatever reason you saved me, for whatever purpose you have for my life. I am forever grateful. And he is so loving and merciful. And addiction is a huge part of my story, and um, I will get into that at a later time. But I just wanted to get on for a second to tell a few of you who do watch my videos that I'm grateful for you as well. And um, I appreciate your support. And eventually I will expand whatever it is that I end up doing um, to other platforms. But right now I'm just going to stick with YouTube because... I just, <laughs> I need to get used to the camera, guys, because I don't know what it is. It's like I hit record and my mind just goes blank. I'm like, I'm like a deer in headlights, you know, and I got to get past that. So for a little while, um, this is the only place I'm going to be posting. And when you're talking to addicts, please be careful when you're calling, when you're telling them that addiction is a choice, because unless you've been in those shoes, you really don't know the type of slavery that it really is. Choice implies willpower, and it's not about willpower. It is a disease. It's a spiritual disease. It's not, you know, like a DSM-5 type disease. It is a spiritual disease because God is the only thing strong enough to get you out of that. The 12 steps helped me, and meetings will keep you clean for so long, but they never sustained my recovery. Only the Lord did that. So just keep that in mind if you're ever talking to an addict or in front of an addict or a group of people where there might be some addicts, you know. Calling it a choice really can be offensive because we know what it was like. We know that every night we went to bed swearing we'd never do it again and so convinced we didn't want to hurt our families. We didn't want to steal from people. We didn't want to do the things that were necessary to get high. We hated that. But then you go to bed and you wake up and your body's screaming for that drug and it's a vicious cycle because the second you do it, you're right back to hating yourself and swearing you'll never do it again. So I don't, I don't believe it's a choice. I really don't. And if it was a choice, a lot of my friends would probably still be here. And I just can't, I just can't bring myself to believe that it was anything other than God. I appreciate all of you and I hope you're enjoying a day with your family and have plenty of things to be grateful for. Have a blessed day.